Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to see how to make these cute coasters. For this project we will need a 3mm crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle and I'm using three colors of yarns. These yarns are from Yarning Waves from a category called Dashing. I've given the link in the description below. So let's get started. I'm going to start round one with a magic ring. Chain three. These three chains are considered to be one double crochet. Now we're going to make 19 double crochets. Now we have 19 double crochets. Considering these three chains as one double crochet, we have 20 double crochets in this round. I'm going to close the magic ring. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch on the third chain, but as I do a slip stitch, I'm going to introduce another color for round two. So I'm going to do a slip stitch on the third chain. I'm inserting the hook in the third chain, taking the next color, just going to yarn over and pull through all the loops. So introduce the next color and this is my round one. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to cut the tail of the magic ring. I'm also going to leave a reasonable length of pink yarn and cut it. Round 2 we are going to make 3 chains which is our first double crochet. In this round we are going to make 1 double crochet followed by an increase stitch. 1 double crochet increase, 1 double crochet increase, we are going to do that throughout this round. Now I have my first double crochet which is chain 3. I am going to do an increase in the next stitch. So as I am doing my stitch I'm going to weave in the remaining yarn. So that's my first double crochet. I'm going to do another double crochet in the same stitch. So that's an increase. So that's one double crochet and an increase. We're going to do one double crochet and then an increase throughout this round. I've almost come to the end of round 2. Here I'm going to make a slip stitch and end this round. I'm going to add another color to make my round 3. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the loops and change the yarn color. Now moving on to round 3, we are going to make a stitch which is similar to a cluster stitch but here we are going to make half of 3 double crochets and then go, we are going to yarn over and pull through all the loops. So let's see how to do that. Chain 3 and then I am going to do half of a double crochet which is yarn over I'm going to put it in the next stitch, then yarn over, yarn over and just pull through two of the first loops. So I have two in my hook now. I'm going to do another half of a double crochet in the next stitch. So now I have four. I'm just going to yarn over and pull through two, which is half of a double crochet. Now I have three in my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's the first set. Now chain four. 
Now we are going to do half of three double crochets in the next three stitches. So yarn over. And I'm going to do half of a double crochet. I have two in my hook. Again, do half of a double crochet. Now I have three in my hook and another half of a double crochet. So I'll have four in my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four at the same time. I'm going to repeat the same in this round. So this is the last set in this round. Three half of double crochets and then yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain four and I'm going to make a slip stitch in the head of the set. Here I'm going to change the yarn color. I'm going to put the hook in the head of the set and then yarn over and pull the other color. I'm going to cut the cream color yarn. Round 4 I'm going to make 3 chains which is 1 double crochet and I'm going to work on the spaces between the sets. These are those spaces. I'm going to make 7 double crochet in each space. 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. After 7 double crochets, I'm going to make 1 double crochet in the head of the set. Just weaving the remaining yarn in as I crochet. I'm gonna continue with seven double crochet in the space and one double crochet in the head of the set. I'm gonna do that for this entire round. I've completed seven double crochets. To end this round, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And I'm again going to change the yarn color. So yarn over and pull through all the loops. I'm going to cut the pink yarn. We are going to make these kind of fans in the last round. So for this, I'm going to make 7 chains. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch on the 7th double crochet. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is my 7th double crochet. So I'm going to make a slip stitch on the head of the 7th double crochet. Now I am going to turn my work and I'm going to make 6 single crochet. So I'm going to go into the space and make 6 single crochet. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So I have my 6 single crochets. Now 
I am going to turn my work once again and chain 2. After chain 2, I am going to make 5 double crochet into the space and 3 half double crochet. And finally make a slip stitch to get this fan shape. So my first double crochet, we're not going to put it in the head of the single crochet. We're going to put it into the space and make the double crochet. So that's the first double crochet. Two. Three. Four. And five. After five double crochets, we're going to make three half double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we have five double crochet, three half double crochet. We're going to end it with a slip stitch in the next double crochet, so, which is in the head of the set so i'm going to make a slip stitch in the next double crochet so that's the first fan so i'm going to continue the same throughout this round i'm making seven chains slip stitch on the seventh double crochet my work and make six single crochet into the space then turn the work chain two make five double crochet into the space Half double crochets and finally end the fan with a slip stitch on the next double crochet so I'm going to repeat it throughout the entire round so I'm almost at the end of the round. Here I'm going to make a slip stitch from the place where round 5 started. That's my slip stitch. I'm going to cut the yarn and fasten the end. Now I'm going to weave in the remaining yarn. As we were crocheting, we weaved in the remaining yarns. But that wouldn't be the case for round 5. So I'm weaving it in with a needle. I've weaved in all the remaining yarns. This is the back side of the coaster and this is the front. This is the cute coaster we've made. This looks adorable when you place a cup. It looks like a flower. So you can use it as a coaster or you can also make chains and hang it as a decoration or you can also make it as a back charm. So let me know how you use this pattern. Hope you liked this video. If you do, drop a like below. And for more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel.